not every patient is going to be able to use the rebreathing system. Those reser are reserved for patients definitely over 20 pounds. You are 15 to 20 pounds, 10 to 20 pounds is your gray area, it depends on your patient. They may also use the rebreathing system. So patients under 10 pounds will use what's called a non-rebreathing system. To hook it to your anesthetic machine, you're going to disconnect your tubes to your inhalation and exhalation port, and that's because you're bypassing a lot of this. Um, I've already assembled my non-rebreather, so you'll have to practice to know how to take them apart and put them together easily. Um, but in the meantime, I've got it already set up. All right, all your non-rebreathers are going to have an end that looks something like this. Sometimes they're silver, sometimes they're black. This goes in the vaporizer outlet port. That's on the outside of your vaporizer. Okay, it will not fit in the inlet port. But if you want to have some rationale behind it, think about it. You have to get your oxygen and your anesthesia to your patient. And the best way to do that is to do it on the opposite side, the outside of the vaporizer. You have a scavenger line. So it needs to be hooked up to your scavenger system. In this case, we have an F air canister, which looks like this. And it goes right into the port here. Sometimes. And this needs to stay above the ground. So you can't just set it on the ground. There's little racks on the anesthetic machines to keep them up so that the air can circulate out of them. So now our non rebreather is hooked up so that we can hook it up to a patient. If you want to leak check this system, this is the pop-up valve for your non rebreather You're going to close it. You're going to put your hand over the patient end and you can turn on your oxygen. Now, we will not have a manometer to watch. We're just going to watch and make sure that we can give a breath to our patient. So I'm going to wait until it's full or semi-full since I don't have a manometer to actually check. I just want to make sure I can give a breath. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my oxygen and I'm going to put a little pressure on here and make sure that it holds pressure. So I want to be able to squeeze this bag and actually give a breath to my patient. Since this can actually hold the air into it, I'm going to count this as good. I'm going to open my pop-off valve, release the pressure in it, and I can take my hand off the patient end. So now you know you can hook up your non-rebreather to your anesthetic machines. There are some anesthetic machines that have a oxygen flush port like this particular one, and some non-rebreathers will hook into this port right here. None of the machines at the school do that. So I just want you aware that you may come to clinics that actually have that type of system up. Um, so there's your non-rebreather and how to leak check it. <laughs>